mounds of mud in my garden. Hmm. Let's investigate. So this little minor bee, solitary minor bee, I think is a tawny minor bee and it's living in our back garden and there's lots of them, okay? And they've been building little tunnels, little mud tunnels underneath the grass and they're completely harmless. They won't sting you, they won't do anything horrible to you. And so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to cut my grass. I'm going to make sure that they can nest and then their eggs can hatch and the larvae can hatch and then they produce adults. There's... Hmm? Hello, Mr. Bee. Hello, Bee. There you go. So, yeah. This one's having a little forage around. Should we have a closer look at it? If I can... Uh... Oh, there you are. Oh. Looking good. Minor bee. Having a little uh, bit in the sun there. Just... Uh... Yeah. No bunny. Little solitary bees, aren't they? Oh God, no! What? Ah, ah, I'm being attacked. Ah, Barney, what you're doing? Get off me! Get off me, Barney! Oh, what are you doing? I'm trying to film. Thank you. Where are they? There they are. Look. There we go. Quite amazing, really. All this life in my grass. That's why I refuse to put any herbicides on it. I don't mind all the dandelions and all the other plants that live here. That's fine. And I think, you know, maybe we should think about letting these bees be and let them do their business to increase the biodiversity in the garden. There you go. Look, he's sunning himself. He's trying to get enough sun. And he's probably saying, what are you doing, Dr. Biology? Get out of my way. There you go. Okay. See you later, Bee. So, there we have it. A tawny minor bee. Very interesting. It's very interesting what you can see in your back garden. Anyway, see you next time.